OK, we have a very simple mechanical feedback system here. Um, what have we got? We've got a 9 volt battery, we've got a big voltage regulator, um, because I'm a bit concerned about how much power the servo is drawing. We've got an Arduino Nano, it's running the knob sketch on the for servos. So there's a potentiometer here that's just acting as a resistor that I can tune. Um, so it's connected to ground on one pin, there's another pin that connects to um, an analog pin, and then the other, the middle pin of the potentiometer connects to um, all the way through the system to a photoresistor which connects to live. So what you've got is you've got a voltage divider with the photoresistor in and that gives a signal which the Arduino converts into a um, servo motor position and updates the servo motor and so on. So the effect is that if I make the thing dark then it moves like so and if I make it light again then it moves back. So the interesting thing is the feedback loop. So as you make things darker it moves and it might well move into a darker region or it might move into a lighter region. One of the things I can do is if I have something quite small that makes a shadow then I need to be quite careful about finding the right place for it. Um, let's try again. This was working earlier. Oh. oh, that's reacting to my hand. edge on. So you can see if you get it just in the right place it seems to shake. Where Yeah, there we go. Yes. Bingo. This is where it gets darker. So that causes the arm to move towards me. But then that brings the photo cell back into the light which causes it to move away from me and it shakes in this little oscillation. The other thing, so that only happens on if you get it in the right place. In other places, if you have an edge of the shadow which makes it slightly dark, draws it further and further into the dark until it's drawn as much into the dark as it can. So the behaviour of this thing it can do negative feedback if it can do positive feedback um, you can get this negative feedback with oscillations because um, the the update speed on the servo isn't completely amazing, and it can sort of try to get try it can sort of be pushed away or towards something and overshoot and then switch back, and that's how you get it oscillating like that.
So anyway, one last little trick. Just got to get my light. Um. Yeah, so there seem to be some angles for this where you get interesting oscillations as well. So this isn't a true light follower. Um, to do proper light following, you need to know which direction is making things brighter and which direction is making things darker. So you would either need two photo cells or you would need something which keeps track of what the changes are doing and says, OK, we're making things brighter or darker. Um, let's carry on with that or, or let's switch things as appropriate whereas this um, is just doing weird things based on a very simple control loop um, and as you can see my setup isn't perfect it's shaken the photo cell out Anyway, what you've got there is pretty much the simplest possible feedback system that could possibly work with a servo motor and a sensor and yes you could develop some more complicated things based on that same hardware change the software um, you could get it focusing on the light okay we've made a slight tweak to the system now let's see this. As I push this, it sort of gradually follows the light as it turns round. Gradually, gradually, gradually. Until eventually it doesn't like following the light anymore. And it suddenly swings back. Again. Gradually, 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 gradually. Wobble, 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 wobble. Um, wires in the way might have something to do with it. But if I flatten those wires out of the way, then you've got the same thing. Wob, slowly, 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 slowly snap back. And that's showing quite good stuff now. Yes, it shakes a while, but it eventually settles into position. If I take the shadow away, suddenly put the light there, take a little shake to find its optimum amount of light, and then it settles into position as I move the box around the thing gets into a state where it has more and more light on the photo cell keeps tracking the light until it just can't get enough light to move the thing around anymore and all of a sudden it swings back and here we are again um, same hardware as before, but this time different software. So this thing is set up for light tracking. So if I shine a light at it, then it finds its way to the light source. And as I move the light source around, then it tracks the light source. Doesn't always know not always very good at things off to the side but once it's sort of at least at 90 degrees then it will find its way to pointing more or less towards light source 
Um, if the beam is at an angle, then it will try to place the photocell inside the beam as much as possible to catch the light as much as possible. And that's the far end of its turning radius. So yes, this is now a light tracker. So previously what we'd been doing is we'd been moving the servo to a position calculated from the reading from the photocell sensor. So this time we're doing it differently. What we're doing is we're keeping track of the old reading and then we're moving the servo a little bit either to the left or to the right. Um, and if the new reading is lower than the old reading then it keeps its direction. So if the new reading is lower than the old direction it changes its direction otherwise it keeps its direction. Um, there's a bit of a delay to make sure that the whole system has time to respond properly. And then um, it goes again round the loop. So what this does is it sees if it's moving in the right direction or not. If it's not moving in the right direction it switches direction. If it is moving in the right direction it keeps moving in that direction. And that lets it do basic tracking. It finds the position where the light is brightest or makes its best effort which isn't completely wonderful but it does. Um, and so that's a very simple single servo, single sensor feedback driven system. Hurrah!